What's going on everybody? It's Pigpen, the one and only, and we are live. Uh, real quick, funny story to tell you. <laughs> I got home from work, and first thing I do, I went to the bathroom, and what do we all do when we go to the bathroom? We pull out our phone. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I go on Facebook, and sure enough, Lex Drama is live streaming on Facebook. Yeah, I figured I'd check out and see what Lex is doing. What's new in the world of Racing Rivals? And sure enough, there's an update. So, you know, I had to live stream. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Good to see everybody joining in. Got a special guest with me today, a real good friend of mine. Um, that's him right there. He's probably breaking into somebody's car. <laughs> so uh, let me introduce uh, my, my, my guest. Uh, he's uh, loved by few, hated by many. Mr. Last Set James Caracato, aka Slow Ride, aka Glue Test Racer, aka Feel Yourself. What's up, James? How you doing? Oh, it's going, cool. it's going. Cool. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Are you uh, ca causing trouble or something? I heard a car alarm go off. You know, I tried a ladder and it's my phone. I'm at work. I'm on call. Oh, that's a good excuse. Next time I break into a car and the alarm goes off, I'll say it's my phone. Good one. So, have you had a chance to check out update, what is it, 6.3.0, is that it? Yes, sir. Oof. So, have you had a chance to check it out, and if so, what do you think about it? Because uh, this is my uh, first look that I've seen right here. I'm a pretty big fan of most of it. Uh, I mean, you turn it on, the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is the font. Yes, well, the font it jumps right out at you. Um, there's some new icons. Well, I mean, it's the same icons, just new look on the left-hand side. You have the watch video, special offers, um, exclusive items, free crate. We should claim that. Um, there's some other, what is this, Racer Showdown, news. What is this? Oh, the showroom. Uh, must be, ah, uh, yes, the sales that are going on. Wow, there's a weird noise when... I click something. That is the most bizarre noise. Yes, you are going to notice that a lot of the stuff has changed Ooh, in the game. What now. the hell is that? So, the whole, all these noises, like you click on something and it sounds like a, like a, a buzzing and a clicking in the background. It's kind of a weird noise. Um, cancel. I don't yeah, want to say that. The high pitch shrieking sound. Yeah, but like maintenance here gives you this weird. I don't know if you guys can. Can you guys hear this? Is it just me? Listen, hold on. Hear that? Wow. I'm not hearing it on my phone. No, maybe these guys, maybe uh, guys um, live streaming can hear this. It's kind of a weird popping noise that every time I click a button, there's a buzzing and a popping noise. It's kind of weird. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe that's something. Yeah, you guys can hear it. Ah. Oh, I right. you for one second. Go yeah, on. yeah, I that's fine. Button. So James has got to take a work call. So guys, we're going to just kind of explore this new update. It's all so new to me. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, there is one. Oh, no, no. Okay, well, I thought the toolbox was gone. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, it's like a thump on the stream. That's right, guys. Like every time you click a button, it's, it's a weird buzzing. So anyways, here's the... Uh, the uh, the rundown on the update real quick. It says new features, turf wars, exciting changes uh, to the way you earn points and make progress. And our number one feature, better race rewards, more points for crushing your opponent's car and more information at the end of each race. All right, cool. I like that. Introducing Quick Tune. Uh, I can't wait to try this out to see what this is all about. Uh, it's the most requested feature coming out of the Player Summit in April. We mentioned this, and I really want to see how they implement it. I want to see exactly how it works, and hopefully it's as awesome as anticipating. Wow, those noises are crazy. Every time somebody jumps online, there's some new noises, guys. Woo! There's another one. Stunt Monkey is online. I'm going to have to change these notifications here in just a few. But um, next is uh, something I really like, stacking inventory. All inventory slots now stack infinitely. 
meaning those 10 special wheels you're saving now only count as one slot against your inventory. That's going to save a huge amount of space. That is so cool because if you're like me and you're completely maxed out at all times, it's going to free up some slots. Uh, Racing Rivals is now streaming on Twitch. Follow us, Carbonated Live. Not me. Follow Carbonated Live and watch every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, which is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, if my math is correct, um, as we talk shop with our fans. All right. So improvement and fixes. The in-game font has been replaced and is much easier to read. Look at this. Uh, we'll have a look at that during the race. Um, it is much bigger. I can see it here. All right. We got to change this. This is crazy. These notifications. Let's see. We want to turn it off. Off, 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 and off. There we go. Whew. But there's still that weird buzzing sound, guys. Maybe they can change the audio files. Uh, cleaned up the world map icons. They're much... Ooh, we'll have a look. World map icons. All right, we have Racer Showdown, Tournament, Driver's Challenge, Quick Match, Campaign Complete. Now it has Turf Wars, but Turf Wars is not active right now, so you cannot click it. Daily Goals, Multiplayer, and then you can go to the Shipyard. All right. Cleaned up the world map. Okay, multi uh, multiple enhancements to the new system. Better linking, better logic, legacy systems completely removed. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Added ability for new crate types. Hmm. Dozens of stability fixes. Um, added ability to release non-pinkable cards added the ability to release non i don't know what that is we're gonna have to find out so we can need to continue to track and improve our cheat detection which is awesome because um yeah, there's still there's always going to be cheaters guys there's always going to be cheaters no matter how tough a system is and how vigilant uh, a company is there's always going to be cheaters out there so we're definitely i'm i'm like totally on board with this because uh if they can catch a cheater and ban their account or do whatever they deem appropriately get rid of them whatever the case is i'm all about it so that's good anyways um wow what is going on everybody um here with me is um <laughs> My buddy, uh, James Caracano, Mr. Last Set. <laughs> you guys know that uh, reference. That's kind of funny. Anyways, um, uh, he, he's um, on a business call right now. He's on call at work. Oh, he's back. Check that out. Perfect timing. So this is uh, Mr. Last Set, a James Caracano, a.k.a. Slow Ride, a.k.a. Glue Tester, Glue Test Racer, my bad, and a.k.a. Feel Yourself. All right, so we've kind of, I read over the patch notes that kind of gave an, uh, a brief um, update to kind of let people know what to expect. Now, there is this one thing here, James. There's one thing here that I'm not quite sure on. Where is it? Um, hmm. I don't know if I lost the, ah, here it is. Okay, so. Maybe you can help me out because I have no clue what the heck they mean by this. What is this down here? Multiple enhancements to the news. Oh, the news system. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. The news system. I read it wrong. I think I said the new system. And I was like, what the hell's the new system? All right. Better linking so we can link to outside sources. Better logic. Legacy system. Okay, so that's cool. I understand that. But what's this here? Added added ability to release non-pinkable cars. What is that? The question that everybody seems to be worried about right now. Uh-huh, it's bringing up a so, lot of um, questions. There's a lot of rumors going around, and all of them are untrue. Okay. Uh, rumors going around right now is everybody's thinking that they're talking about showroom cars not being pinkable anywhere until firm. Not the case. Hmm. So, uh, the, the non pinkable cars, for instance, uh, the box, if you notice when you're in the lobby, they'll have a little icon on the top left corner of their avatar that shows a pink slip with a cross through it. Wait, say this again because I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> so, there's so the box that are in the lobby, 
uh-huh. uh, whether it's Chydron, Perfect Shift, okay. um, you know, we all know their names. The automated controlled characters that aren't Fast and the Furious bots mm-hmm. will have a little icon on the bottom of the racer screen. Oh. And it's, it shows that there's a no pink slip on them. Okay. Uh, the feature wasn't designed for them, but they do utilize it all the time because they don't oh. think sense huh so it's a, it's pretty much bound to that account yeah I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that are interesting now hmm. the inventory system is fantastic like you said i heard you while you were talking i was on the phone okay um, the fact that you know guys like me you run around with a full inventory all the time and you're trying to crack crates open it's, and you have to sell stuff back to the game to get rid of overflow. Right, or throw it on a car you don't necessarily care about, or something of that nature. It's kind of, it's kind of gets to me a little bit because I, I like there's I'm I'm a hoarder when it comes to rims and you know it, a lot of times they get recycled so it's not about keeping them for a rarity. It's just sometimes I I might have a car down the road that I want to throw them on, but until then I'll just keep them, you know. But if I don't have room for them and I got to start selling them, I kind of kind of sucks because I spent money for those and now yeah. I'm getting rid of them. So. so let's clarify it. We'll narrow it down for everybody that's listening. Uh, myself, I like to spend gems and crates and mm-hmm. I, I, like you, sit at 155 and it's not more all mm-hmm. the time. After the update, my inventory count dropped down to 65 out of 155. Mm-hmm. And just for fun, I decided that I was going to crack open 30, yes, 30, nine packs of silver crates. <laughs> and after opening 30 packs of the nine pack option, my inventory count went to 70 of 155. Hmm. So, so there's no more overflow. Um, when you complete a set of blueprints on a car, it still changes to complete it on your screen. And any blueprints that you collect after that mm-hmm. are stored behind the one that says completed. All right. So you never get that extra spot taken up by a completed car. If you had 10 chrome wire rims prior to the patch, you had that used 10 spots up. Now it only uses one. Wow. So I went from, um, I don't know what I was at. I was very close to 155 slots, but I moved all the way down to 72. So I've got... Wow, close to, uh, I don't know, 80 slots. Oh, yeah. Freed up again, which is awesome because, let's see. So this, basically this slot here where I have four out of eight blueprints for the um, <clears throat> the Ferrari um, uh, F40, instead of counting as four slots, now counts as one. Where I have the Enzo, I have two out of ten prints for the Enzo, now counts as only one slot instead of two. And all the way down the line, which is great because, you know, these wheels here, I have this one I showed, I have two sets of, two of these uh, B-Sports, and uh, obviously it's one slot that's taken up now. All of these wheels where I have multiple sets, they're all count as one slot which is awesome these paints six of these one paints square is one slot. that it. is awesome i love it so there's one four eight sixteen ooh, ooh, where was i anyways yeah i'm up to like 72 what was a 72 slots that is awesome though because now i yeah, can open like a Dan, lot more like daniel made on the forum post mm-hmm. stacks indefinitely because you'll never have two billion items right which is great, especially when you open up, uh, say, like uh, performance parts and you keep getting, you know, 
carbon fiber or um, fiberglass parts for a trunk or whatever, and you have eight of them, you know, or ten of them, and now it's one slot it takes up, which is awesome. I really like that. See, I've had to sell yeah. all mine. I have, like, painted carbon fiber trunks and uh, fiberglass rear spoilers. I've had to just start deleting them, selling them back to the game because I ran out of slots, and now I have plenty of slots. It's really awesome. So uh, that's good. Makes you wonder where this update was at 6.0. <laughs> mm, I wish they would have done this at 6.0. I wish Glue would have done that at 6.0, but no, Carbonated took care of it, which is great. They did, they did. I don't like this noise. Like, like when I click on maintenance, you might not be able to hear it because I'm talking to you on the phone, but me and the uh, viewers, when I click on maintenance, it makes this low buzzing bass sound, which is kind of odd. Now, the other thing I don't like, while you were talking about inventory, I just did a quick um, test uh, test track run. There's no more music. Yep. No more music, man. The music's gone. Yeah. I don't know where to launch this car, so I'm just gonna, oh yeah. I'm that Sorry, we're going to cross the finish line, and here we go. That's it. It's just a, uh, I don't even know what you would call it, like a swoosh type noise. Somebody wants to fix you, because that would throw a lot of people off. Right. We Ooh. all like that, that tone, the one that takes challenge uh, throwing at you. Yeah, uh, the, the font yeah. is definitely easier to read now. What are your thoughts on the RT? Did you notice? Uh, let me go back. I know you complained about this in the past. Yeah, well, the RT and your uh, your total time. Hold on. Let me just kind of do another race. We'll go back and have a look at that thought. I like it a lot. Yeah. So here we go. We'll check it out. There's no more music, which I'm not happy about. I like the music at the end when you cross the line. Let's see what happens when you lose a race, see if it's anything different. All right, here we go. Yeah, oh. it's not as a predominant loss sound. No, it's just Nobody very anticlimactic, really. There's not much there. There's no music, there's no, there's no really differential, different, what's the word I'm looking for? Differentic, differential, uh, you know what I'm looking <laughs> There's nothing to yeah. differentiate from winning and losing, though. That's what I, I don't know. Now, the RT and your race time, your total time, is definitely easier to read. Much bigger font, bolder. You can see that. It's very good. Um, Even mid-race, it looks great. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's, uh, now, I bet you, uh, if you're racing, now, what else? There were lots. But so, I, I'm going to check out this quick tune. That's the whole point. I want to try the quick tune to see what it's all about. Quick tune, buy and install all stage one upgrades. Oh, and it shows your total price for it, 36,954. Now if I were to upgrade everything now, I'm sure I still have to wait. I still, if I wanna use gems, I'm sure I could still use gems. Um, all that good news. Well, go ahead and click that button. Yeah, I mean, Mayhem says it right here. The music was how I knew if I won the pink or lost before the actual race results showed. Yeah, I mean, I really like that. That was that was part of the intensity of racing. Like, you're racing, and, it, like, you know, as soon as you win, you, yeah, the music pumped you up. And the opposite, when you lose, the music made you, like, aggravate. And you're like, no, you want to pound on something. But now there's no music at all, which is just completely bizarre to me. I'm wondering if they're going to add that. Maybe that was just an oversight. I don't know. So. I think we can put a request in for it, picking that about it, or at least change it. Maybe something different. Yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't have to be the same music. Better. It doesn't have to be the same music, although I did like it. It did serve its purpose pretty well. I mean, I liked it. I know other people did. I don't, I've never heard anybody complain that the winning and losing music was horrible or needed changed, but whatever. Um, so if I wanted to upgrade, let me find a car 
Um, actually, we'll go to the showroom. We'll just buy something and we'll just test buy out. A Honda Civic. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a Honda. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Honda Civic Si. Uh, we're going to buy that. And we'll deliver it for two gems. I mean, um, impatient. We'll just buy it instead of waiting the 55 seconds. All right, <laughs> upgrading, quick tune right here. So for 9,510 points, we can upgrade, buy and install all stage one. Now, I don't know, does that, we'll find out. I don't know if that, well, what is this? Finish now, 20% off, zero gems. All right, it's not gonna cost me anything. Finish all. Yeah, stage one never does. Wow, holy does crap. Things. So you're telling me, hold on, hold on. So I just installed all of stage one like that. You know how much time that saves? I can actually not get. All. Not Well, that's what I wanted to check. No, I'm guessing no NOS? No. Yeah, so Wait. the quick install is catering to helping and speed up tuning time. At the same time, it's not going to ruin the people that do lobby tunes. It mm. won't install conversions, it won't install NOS, and it doesn't do weight. Okay, so it's all the stuff that you can't that can't be reversed, which is fine. Right. I don't have a problem because now I just go back and look at it. I just installed stage one for weight reduction. Uh, stage two, and while that's installing, we'll uh, we'll we'll install turbo. And we'll install, there we go, look at that. And we'll go back to weight reduction. And I already, I'm already up to Pro A. Installing Pro A, everything is up to stage two. We have NOS installing and turbo, right? Yeah, and this like substantially reduces your tuning time with wow. your matching cars. Dude, that's, a, that's wicked fast. Wicked fast. Which, a little spoiler for everybody that is watching and listening. Mm -hmm. The new turf system is going to favor max curves. Ooh. This feature is gold. Wow. Did you guys hear that? Say that again for anybody who may have missed that, James. The quick tune feature is going to be golden for everybody that turfs because, spoiler alert, the new turf point system will cater towards maxed car racing for optimal Woohoo! Did you hear that? Maxed lobby racing. That's what it's all about. I love maxed lobby racing. Sorry, I just get excited. Pounding shit here. <laughs> oh, that's great. I mean... While we're on a quick topic, Joe. Yes. On turf wars. Mm -hmm. I do want to point something out. It has floated around a little bit now on the internet. Um... One thing that wasn't added in the patch notes, mm -hmm. a lot of people are excited for it. I personally don't feel it has a place in the game, and you might agree with me, I don't know, but the chicken button has shown up for Turf and Showdown. It has, has it? Let's go to Racer Showdown. What's the event? Ah, ineligible car. Let me see if I, I'm sure I have to, I'm sure I have a rear wheel drive car. We'll wait till somebody challenges and we'll see if we can chicken out. Is it? active right now? Yes. My Ooh. showdown is active for sure. Turf Wars, I haven't had clarification yet. I believe it is as well. Okay. Let's go in with the uh, stylish Dotson. Who can say no to a Dotson, right? I'll be I'll be in there for three <laughs> seconds and someone's going to challenge. Go, yay, Dotson! So, Kick on the slope there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see... I do not like Max Lobby Racing, Joe Williams says. Just for the record, I think it's stupid that everything is catered to Max cars because it takes no brains to tune a Max car, and I think that's stupid. Well, I'm in a lobby by myself. I'm in a lobby by myself. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be... I don't think anybody's in a, uh, a 1586. Let me find a car that's a little higher here. <laughs> Higher rating. Uh, eligible for showdown. Let's pick something that's a little higher here. Lobby rating. Uh, 
I personally like max racing because it comes down to skill. Um, I know I'm not saying that lobby racing doesn't come down to skill. It does. But if you have a good tune, then you have a double. You have two. You have a safety system. You can say, oh, well, I didn't... Uh, I didn't get the good launch and I didn't get good shifts, but my car has a better tune than this person, so I'm going to win anyway. And you kind of just, you know, eh, you know, you kind of just go through the motions. But when you're up against another person, like he says, it doesn't take any brains. Any freaking moron can max out a car. Um, you know, it comes down to who has the better skills. You do you screw up one shift and uh, you lose. So I like it. That's why I like it. Plus, it's just there's more on the line. People, when they, in a 1650, they don't really, they'll pink anything because they know it's a showroom car, it's a SVT Cobra, and they lose it. They don't care. There's nothing on the line for them. There's no, nothing that makes, nothing of any value or significance. But when you're in a max car, it makes you think twice. It makes you go, okay, I better bring this, I better bring it, you know, because I'm in a max car, and if I lose it, um, I'm losing you know, more than just a D-Class 1650 car. So I like it. I don't care what anybody says. Max car racing. I do enjoy the occasional lobby tune as well, but I believe max racing is where it's at. I think you just, it's more, um, I don't know, it makes your heart pound more. I think that's just more exciting. So let's sit here and yeah, see, if, let's see if somebody else. A lot of guys aren't going to be left in the dark either. No, they're not going to. Okay, Absolutely. The payout's going to be more beneficial to the more you put into the vehicle. Right, because it has some sort of, it takes, I don't know exactly the formula they, they use, but there's a more of a, okay, here we go, Challenger. Let's see if we can check in. Come on, chicken. I can chicken just like that. Pretty quick and easy. There's for all the cherry pickers out there. Now you can challenge everybody you want, and I guess it benefits a lot of people, I, I don't know. I don't really, I, I don't, I don't really agree with the chicken button. Um, I see how it could be helpful for people because there are a lot of cherry pickers. But I don't particularly like the. Um, hey, there's Mitch. Um, I don't particularly like. Um, I don't even know. I lost my train of thought. Mitch, you made me lose not, my mind, huh? I'm not a fan of it either. I mean, it. Yeah, it's beneficial as it is to everybody right now. Yeah. Uh, the cherry pickers, they don't have to wait 30 seconds for you to hold the timer on them because you're being an asshole. Pardon my French. Uh, <gasps> oh but my at God. the same time, you don't have to make them wait 30 seconds. So, mm -hmm. is it win win? Yeah. Is turn four supposed to be kind of a war? Well, yeah, so why would you want to check? Well, that's the thing, too, is I always thought it's war, you know, uh, you, you, you bring your best to the table and it's war. Someone challenges you, you don't back down, you challenge anybody you can, and hopefully they don't back down. And with the chicken button, it kind of does that. It kind of, you know, now it gives people the option, they can just back down. Like if, see, watch, I can just back down. Who challenges me? See, this guy challenges me, Cobra Jet, and guess what? I just go like this and eh, I chicken out and I back out. So I didn't have it to wasn't wait. Installed for a reason, but for a reason at the beginning, right? Hey, I'll, the I'll, games at the beginning, they didn't activate it at the beginning of Turf Wars because mm -hmm. it was war. Yeah. You didn't need the chicken. Right. I'm going to race Mitch here. He's testing his tune. Let's see what he's got. I'm not going to really, as long as I don't foul out, I don't want to screw up his tune testing. But yeah, I mean, there's some pros and cons. Mm -hmm. update. Um, there is no word yet as to when the new turf point system will be turned on. Yeah. It, it is included in the update. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't activated it yet. Yeah. So I'm reading live chat here in Duddy Kid for Life. Okay, he's a little bit sour here and I'm just going to kind of read what he says and we'll talk about that. I want to I want your opinion, James. This is what Duddy Kid for Life he says, "I hate this update. They still got hackers." All right? And then a couple skip down a few. He says, "I lost my Mercy Lago to some hacker that changed his rating mad fast. He didn't leave the lobby." Now, I can tell you what happened. Chances are either you read the rating wrong or 
he had a second account, and that's what they do. These there's guys that jump into a lobby, and you race them. You look at them once, and then you uh, you see their um, their rating as a sixteen fifty. And then while you're in that race screen, still he's joined his. He's already joined his other account with a, a an account that looks similar with a car that looks similar, but it's higher rated. And as soon as he's done with the race, he leaves and his new account is there and you challenge him and you think, ah, oh, he's a 1650, you race him. And guess what? He's maxed out, he takes your car. That's what happens. It's not a hacker, guys. That's just a, that's a cheap tactic somebody used, but it's not a hacker. Sleight of hand. So, yeah, exactly, sleight of hand, exactly. So, let's see, Mitch is at a 7.478, 60 thousandths reaction time, and he's in a 1673, so I'm not too, actually, I gotta really say, I'm not too familiar with this lobby at all, like, I race maxed, and it usually puts me in a 1690, um, so I don't know what's good for this lobby or not, I'm not sure, but, whoo! Don't ask me, I don't too encourage Yeah. So. so yeah, going back to that guy's question, you're never going to get the hackers on the game. Yeah. That has the ability to bring in profit. Right. So there is, there is, there's no active hacks in the game at the moment. Not that I know of. And and as Daniel wrote in the forum, the Nano Narts are getting smarter all the time. They are fighting and preventing and predicting possibilities of mm -hmm. something coming around the corner. So they're making it very difficult right. to crack into the game to change things. Well, it's good being proactive instead of reactive. That's always a plus, especially, you know, when it comes down to a game where I don't know how many employees Carbonated has, but I guarantee there's less employees than there are people out there trying to hack the game. That's a okay. fact. I mean, there's probably thousands upon thousands, if not more, that are trying to hack the game. And, um, you know, good good for Carbonated for being proactive. I, I, I like that, you know. But what they I don't like, I do not like this toolbox. I thought they got rid of the toolbox. <laughs> That's the first complaint I gave to Daniel. <laughs> oh, you did? You already... <laughs> That's great. That's great that you already... I... Well, I, I signed on the game because I remember in one of his live streams that they did as the company, mm -hmm. they brought up the toolbox and they were going to move the toolbox in 6.3. And the first person that could find it was going to get something. Well, when I turned it on, I looked for it and sure enough, it was right in the same place. <laughs> you want to yeah. talk about anticlimactic end of racing when you lose or win? No, anticlimactic when the toolbox still sits in the way of my car. <sighs> Now, I never actually looked in the toolbox, but you can actually see a wrench, and it might, I don't know if it looks like uh, maybe a drawer that comes out or something. I've never actually looked in the toolbox. That's kind of funny. All this time of it being right there in front of my face, screwing up my screenshots like this. You just want a nice screenshot, and there it is, right in front of your wheel. But, uh, so you might notice a little bit of changes in the garage as well. In the um, garage. Some, some shaders were adjusted that were causing color problems. Hmm. And I've never really paid attention to the background in the garage 100%, but I did notice for the first time today turning the game on, uh, there are sparks in the background and smoke coming out of some things in the background. I was going to say, well. I thought I saw, yep, there's some sparks in the background right now. Uh, there's a vent with some sort of um, toxic uh, fumes filling up the garage, which is always pleasant. Uh, there's some more sparks, same. And every now and again, you can see there's uh, dust. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's dust. If you look up above the car here, there's dust floating around. So there's definitely... Now, a... Do you have any blue flake for instance, car? I do. The... The shader changes that were done mm -hmm. actually made some of the flake paints look really, really nice now. Really? Interesting. I'm going to look for, I have a Scion TC with blue flake. Uh, yep, I have it. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. It's yep. not as bright. It's and flashy. 
but it's very intense though. It's still without being flashy. It's very nice. Oh yeah. Lots of detail. Yeah, it, was a, it was a nice change that they made. Ooh, I like that. Wow. It's like a, a Christmas ornament or a disco ball or something. It's really cool. And your bronze, silver, gold uh, wrapped card. Mm -hmm. The metallic sized detail is a heck of a lot more noticeable in terms of reflections in the garage. Mm -hmm. Oof, look at that. Really nice, really nice. There's a gold. Uh, there's the AMC Javelin uh, with a, no, that's a, a mat. Uh, let's go to the inventory. What do I have in my inventory? I don't know if all the rooms have changed over yet, um, but most of this shader work that's being done was being done to fix the appearance of certain things in the showroom or in the uh, garage. Mm -hmm. For instance, rooms that didn't look like they used to back in the day. Yeah, uh, there's a few of them, like the uh, the Copo. I don't know. I know. I know. I have cars with Copo wheels on them. I just don't know if they're on this account and if they are. But those are the ones that I think were affected probably the most. Oh no, there's like there's a few that were affected in my opinion. There's those, the Copo wheels, and uh, which ones? If you go to wheels, let's see, were they Volks? Go to the normal state, yeah, Volk, the white gem. Red line, red. Yes, they still all they they just look you don't there's no red lines. I mean there is it's a very very tiny red line. I can barely see it here, which kind of I don't like. So they still got to work. They still got to work on those and have them put in And then um, I still have to, there's still some wheels and I gotta check. I know the uh, there's a first place Scion TC spec. That yeah, has the orange. Right. That those wheels never looked right after the update. Uh, there was a what the heck was that the one? Pacers always look black. Yes, there's that. There's another one that I'm thinking of that really didn't look all that hot. Um, uh, it must have been. Uh, it was a uh, maybe it was a Camaro. It had like the purple rim it's just like a thin it was like it had a glowing purple thin rim around the wheel i don't have it on this account but it had like a purple flames you know painted on it a wrap and the wheels had a nice thin purple you know rim around it and they just never looked right so but there's there's that's just small details you know it might have been it was one way back in the day i'll have to find it on an account uh, i could go and check I'll never find it. That account has so many thousands of cars on it. I'll never find it. But I'll, I'll, I have to, maybe I'll take a screenshot someday and show people what I'm talking about. But uh, what else? What else is new? What else am I missing here for this update? Um, you went through the quick tune. They changed. Like I said, most of it, a lot of it sounds. I mean, that high pitch. Yeah. You clip up things have gone now. Yeah, the high. Like if you go in. When you're uh, the garage to do tuning, just clicking on things, you don't hear that high pitched noise. Anymore. Yep, you don't hear that clicking, that pop, you know. I know what you mean. I don't know what you call it, but that high pitch, it hurt your ears if it was all the way up. But now I have this weird, like this weird bassy sound. So, yeah, but it's, a, it's a little easier on the ears. It is, it's, it's definitely, I'll give it that. It's definitely easier on the ears. So, I'll give that a plus. The one thing, the one thing so far. Uh, that I don't like about this update, and there's not many, there's, I like most everything about this update. The one thing I will say I do not like is the fact that when the race is over, there's no more uh, music, upbeat music when you win, and there's no more music when you lose that makes you feel like, you know, you just ran your cat over and you feel horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like you just ran your pet cat over and now the world sucks, like... There's no more music. So I don't know if that was an oversight. I would love to, to hear music come back. That's just my opinion. Um, but well, I think a lot of people would agree with that. I think it's really nice. I mean, I like the new noises, the, the sound effects, but they, if they could just layer that on top of some upbeat music, that would be great. I would really like oh, yeah. that. So. so there are a couple other things. I, I don't know if you picked up on it when you were cycling through, but if you go back to your world map, yeah, uh, 
the buttons actually look like buttons now. Yeah, absolutely. They cleaned They're, it right up. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's larger. The buttons on the left side of the screen in the garage for the shipyard. Yeah. The shipyard has different sounds for the crates moving in. Okay, so is that your phone? Yeah, give me one yep, I'll just kind of talk here, guys. Okay, so, two, well, I said one thing that I didn't like was there, there was no music at the end of the race, which, okay, but I did find another thing I don't like, and it's not something new. It's something that's been uh, for in the game for a long time. Depending on what track you are, right now I'm in New York, Rio, London, Tokyo. Now, if you've noticed anything, say I want to race multiplayer. Now, here's the multiplayer, but... And it's right here in this location. But when I go to Tokyo, multiplayer is now here. If I go to London, multiplayer is now here. It moves around. Everything moves around. So depending on what map you're on, I sit there and I look like a moron because I don't know exactly where multiplayer is. If it was in a specific location each time, like multiplayer was always up here where driver's challenge is, or if it was always in one location, I'd like that, but it kind of moves around, makes it a little confusing. I'm like, oh, where's multiplayer? Uh, oh, here it is, up there. Uh, okay, so there's two things I don't like, even though that's not really changed. So when it comes to the update, there's only one thing so far that I don't like, and that's just there's no music at the end of the race. Um, but that's, that's actually a win win because uh, we have this update that has all these new features. I really like a lot of these features. I think it's going to be a huge, huge time saver. Oh, the only thing they didn't add. Hold on before I, oh my gosh. I hope, I really hope there's a, is there not? Okay. okay. Dude, no. Hold on. I need to find a car that has... That one thing I was really, really hoping they would put, and I don't know if I have a car. There's got to be. Oh, you know what? Easy way to find it. I'll go to highest engine damage. Here, M3, uh, BMW M3 Rivals Edition. Maintenance. Please. Ah, repair time. Ah. I was hoping they'd have a repair all button, man. I think it's in the works. I'm not going to lie. Whoa, that was weird. New sounds for that. So maybe, hopefully it's in the works because I'll tell you, and I know people say you should just repair your car after you're done racing. Yeah, easier said than done. When you're in the moment, man, and you're racing and your car has engine damage and you're just feeling it, you're, you got the good mojo going on, you're winning, you're winning. I can't be bothered going back to my garage, repairing, waiting, and then finding another car. No, I just go to the garage, grab a new car, back on the track, ready to race, and then, like, when I'm done with turf, man, I have, like, 30 cars, 40 cars even sometimes that all have engine damage. And I was really hoping for that repair all button just to save some time. Cru keep what my fingers... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I went through and I must have, like, 60 of those. So, but the other thing... I, I, I believe 6.3 was more geared for quick tune and the turf function. So, yeah. I don't think that they had a chance to do the repair all yet. I know they are interested in it because there's a big demand for it. Yeah, Mayhem right here said he lost his S2K because he completely forgot about engine damage. Ha <laughs> rookie mistake. I've done that. Hey, I just lost a car uh, to my buddy Rod, uh, RJF. We were in a lobby, and uh, he, I think I challenged him. He hit pink, so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll race Rod. And I totally forgot I didn't have boost on. Hey, rookie mistake. It happens. So turn that off um i i was testing to see if it actually worked and it did i've never that was the first time i ever turned it off i usually actually i usually never have it on but uh for whatever reason uh i i had it off anyways uh but anyways i raced him and uh yeah i lost the car and i realized Totally didn't even have boost on. So, rookie mistake. I've done that before with engine damage as well. Like, oh, I have engine damage. Okay, I'm going to leave. And then, like, I get into a conversation and lobby chat, type it away, talking with somebody, I get challenged. Eh, I'll hit pinks. And then as soon as I hit pinks, man, it's that feeling of dread that just, you know, completely overtakes your body. And you go, oh, I totally have engine damage. And you're crossing your fingers that they check it out, man. So... But uh, anyways, so, uh, there's another update that they didn't put in the patch notes either. I noticed. Who? Oh? You go back into your uh, garage to tune a car. 
Yeah. Click on a part, you'll notice that the dyno chart looks different now. Wait, say this again. So if I go to my garage where I'm at. Yeah, click on a part. And if you're using a car that's already got parts installed on it, just click off of it on a different part so that it brings up the dyno sheet. Yeah. Ooh. All the, all the dyno sheets are up to date now. They Get out. The red, they show you where the red line is. They tell oh. you where the peak horsepower and torque is at what RPM. Wow. So if you had a hard time figuring shift points out, it just got a lot easier. Nice. Jacob Parker, he says, what's going to be in the new update? Jacob Parker, man, you just missed it. We went over everything. So, what I recommend to you is after this video ends, after this live stream is over, go back, watch the video. There's some patch notes. We go over everything so far. There's a lot of really cool stuff, Jacob Parker. <laughs> you that. Wow, I like that. The, uh, the dyno is updated. So, let me find a car. Let's have a look here. Um... I'm kind of curious, see if there's a car. Hmm. I don't know what I have on this account. Uh, Supra. Let's just have a look at this. Uh, 1669. All right. So, but can you find that you don't have, there's no way to check the dyno for the parts you have installed, right? No, still not that. So you can only see the dyno for if you change the part, it'll show you what it'll change. It's going to be very similar, though, I would imagine, right? Yeah, it all depends on the part. I mean, you're going to be by a little bit of horsepower here, a little bit of torque there. Yeah. It's still similar. Yeah. There, I've made it known a few times now that they need to fix it so that it, once you just click on the tuning page, mm -hmm. it's right there. Yeah, that would... Be a little different. So I'm going to try to find here. We'll find a BMW M3 GT2. Let's have a look. I'm just kind of curious to see what the dyno looks like and it says for this. Ooh, wow. That is actually somewhat pretty accurate. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here like. I'm dumbfounded. Very, very tight. I am dumbfounded. I'm looking at it going, wow, according to the dyno, the dyno's telling me to shift right where I shift this car. That's really cool. That, my friends. Let's see. Let's check out the Zonda. <clears throat> wow. This is great. Let's have a look here. Now it's, yeah. <laughs> well, the Zonda is very accurate too. It shows it right about just at, like eight. 8,050 RPMs, which very that close. Wow, man, all right. What else? Uh, the K1, where does the K1, that's like early at a 7, 7, 7, where does that shift? Do you Third remember? 72. 72. Kind of curious what it says here. <laughs> Look at that. 72, it's telling me the shift at 72. Imagine that. Guys, this is awesome. You know what that means? Dinos are accurate again. Great news. Great news. I love it. Wow. They should be the most accurate that they've ever been. Wow. Man, hold on. Round of applause for whoever did that. Wow. I love it. What else? What else? Who else? What else can I check? What other car here? Um, uh, the GTR, Ford GTR. Let's check the dyno for that because I'm curious to see what it says. Uh, yeah, so it's telling me to redline it, which is is that accurate with the Ford GTR to redline it? Yeah, close enough, yeah. Well, yeah. The just keeps climbing. Or the, sorry, the dark car just climbs the airplane. Yeah, I don't think you want to tap yeah. the wall with it. So this is accurate then. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's, it's a very distinct shift pattern on that car. To get the absolute fastest time, it's not a wall banger. It's pretty close, though. Huh. I'd have to check that out because I, I actually, that's the one car I'm not very good at. Like, personally, it's it has a weird... That car has a very, very specific first gear. 
it's so slow at first. There's a few cars like that, like the um uh the. It's slow and then it whips. Up yes, there. just like the um, Cadillac, the CTSV. Yeah. The CT yep. actually the CTSV does the same thing, and it just it starts off slow, and then it just like slingshots right up. It's really it it takes a while to get the timing for it. Yeah, see, this one's a wall banger too. You don't want to tap the wall with this one, so that's really accurate. I like that, guys. Man, is that awesome? That is good news. Holy crap! I I want to see. I don't know if I have a Max Stella. Uh, let's have a look here. What do we have? Ford Focus R S R E. I'm kind of curious to see what it tells me. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, wow, we've established that the dinos are now accurate. Wow, that was something that I wasn't even anticipating. Awesome. So, um, no, Jacob Parker. Nobody wants to trade with you. Get to a trading group. Don't trade in my chat because that's the easiest way to get scammed, whether you get scammed or somebody who you know decides they want to trade with you gets scammed. Man, I go over this all the time. If you yeah, want to trade, get your butt to a legitimate trading group. Claim turf prizes before updating. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's a minor issue with that. They are looking into it. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know if I... I was going to say, we went from a high note with the dyno to we could go to a low note. I didn't know if you wanted to <laughs> end on a low note. Uh, well, I definitely haven't uh, <laughs> claimed my... It's not on this account. It's on another account, my uh, turf reward. Uh-oh. That's no good. Well, maybe on a device you didn't update with. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll jump on my phone, and hopefully my phone doesn't have automatic updates. So I'll jump on my phone before. So guys, if you haven't updated yet, make sure to grab your turf rewards and then update. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, the, the other one that kind of didn't get addressed yet, and it is a lot more complicated than everybody thinks. Yeah. It's been hounding people for a very long time. It was an inadvertent change uh -huh. on the system that caused havoc in the messaging. So, <laughs> no, you still can't message friends all the time. Uh huh. Carbonated hasn't been able to replicate the problem because it wasn't a change they made to the chat system. It was like throw a stone in the pond and further the ring gets away, it still, it still affects certain things. Yeah. That ring that went away from the splash, something they changed a while back, affected the chat system, and they're still trying to be able to reproduce it. Uh -huh. They're just not being able to find it yet. So the chat is still in progress. What's up, Todd? My buddy Todd. You know, what's funny is they should check my account out because I almost always have that problem trying to communicate with people. So, what else? Well, they, they have it happen to them all the time. Yeah, they, they just can't, can't figure it out. Holy crap. Give me one second here. This ad is loud. I went to claim my turf crate. <laughs> well, guys, it's time for commercial break. Like the longest commercial ever. Wow. No. I do not want to tap to take down enemy defenses and destroy the gate. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> that was so loud, man. I couldn't even hear what you were saying. I just want to go back to racing rivals. There we go. I do not want the next video. I'm just going to claim. I forgot that there was a video for that, or I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> oh, man. So. But, uh, well, I'm going to say uh, we've been on for about an hour. I think we're going to wrap it up here, James. Uh, going to do some more messing around with the game. Um, all that good stuff. Um, wow. I got to go back to work, so. 
Yeah, you better get back to work. So, uh, hey, James, uh, always a pleasure. Thanks for uh, joining me. I'm going to try to get you on again. I think, did I? I'll, I'll Facebook chat you again. Did I mention? I think I mentioned you. I'm trying to get you and someone else on for a, a uh, yes, live. Sir. Yeah, we'll try to get that to happen. I don't want to say anything to anybody yet because it may or may not happen. But uh, either way, we'll definitely have you back at some point. Uh, always, uh, uh, we, we can sit there and chat racing rivals and video games all day long. Wow. Hours upon hours, and we do. Like he calls me up, and we're just like we sit there and just yada 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 this and that, this and that, and this and that. Always a good time. So, uh, hey James, I know you're a busy guy. You got a lot of work to do uh, on call, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for taking time out of your day to chat with us. And uh, us, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys, uh, that does it for now. I'll be back with another live stream here for Racing Rivals Update. Uh, as soon as I figure out what's going on, I'm going to see if there's any more features that I've missed out on, things that I think you should know about, maybe even things that we can say, hey, this is good, but it could be better. Bring it to my attention. Let me know. We'll talk about it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Pigpen, the one and only, and I will see you again soon with another live stream video. Take care. Yeah.